Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. In this one we're going to show you how to get Frillish. But not just any point in the game, but basically from the beginning. Uh, this thing only spawns during thunderstorms um, it, at the bridge field with a 10% chance. Uh, so this is actually very easy to miss. Um, Frillish is very common once you're able to move over the water. Uh, what is it, What doesn't seem to be common knowledge is that you can actually get this almost right at the beginning of the game. So here is our location right here. Obviously we've got a lady one in pink. See if we can quick roll this. Um, I always quite like the look of Felicious. <laughs> it's one of those Pokemon that I just feel is, has a tragic um, evolution, right? Jellicent's obviously stronger, but just I hate the way it looks. Maybe I'll try one with like an EVO light or something, boost its defenses. But I just don't quite know how um, how that stacks up. Obviously, we're looking at uh, an evolution into. Jellicent, level 40 with Frillish. Uh, nice water ghost type Pokemon. Which is quite cool. Um, obviously, I have boy ones in blue. I don't think they have much difference in the way of stats or anything. It just kind of is a uh, as an aesthetic thing. But um, yeah. So, it, I mean, you'll probably see like a Pokemon here. There'll be loads of them. Or not. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, that's how we catch a catch a frillish. Uh, basically, you'll be able to catch that as soon as you've got three badges because it'll spawn between level 27 and 30. Um, until you reach end game, at which point everything gets boosted to level 60. So, um, hopefully, this was helpful for some of you guys, and I'll catch you all in the next video. See you then.